In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your textures out of Painter and so you can bring it into Maya. So I'm going to go up to the top, go to File, Export Textures. Here we're going to go to Export and then we're going to go to Config. And right here we want to use the PBR Metal Rough. So you just go in the menu, find it right in there. And then we want to come down to Texture Sets. You'll see all the maps that get generated. So a base color, roughness, metallic, and normal are going to be the top four that's going to generate. If you have an emissive map or emissive on your model, it'll generate emissive. It is going to generate a height, but we really don't use it. Uh, the normal should be sufficient at this point. The other th side of it is we want to make sure we're looking at the texture resolution. So here you want to actually can up res or down res your texture so you kind of have to decide which one you want we're just going to do 2k for this uh, particular model the other thing we want to look at is you know what format we're saving we're going to save in ping again if you need a different one there's plenty there to choose from and i want a little bit of bigger bit depth a little bit better quality so i'm going to change from 8 to 16 but again it all depends on your project if you need 8 or 16 at that particular moment uh, and then make sure you are sending all your textures to the appropriate directory. So you just click it, make sure it's going there, and you're good to go. And let's just hit export. And then we can just say open folder. And here it is. Here's all the maps. There's your color, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. So now let's go into Maya and plug these maps in. Now we've got our scene loaded in Maya. And a few things you want to pay attention to before you start bringing the textures. Uh, particularly if you're going to be turning in assignments. Make sure you have all your objects in your scene named appropriately. So again, we've kind of already gone through here. Everything's named. The uh, transformations have been uh, frozen and the history has been deleted on all the items. Everything looks nice and clean. Uh, that's good so far. Now, I want to work only on the low polygon model. So I'm going to go over here and go to the high and the ID and I'm going to hit control H and I'm just going to hide that. Or you can over here. If I bring back everything, which is Shift H, you can make a layer. So there's a display layer, and you can create a display layer by just coming over here, selecting the objects, coming over to the side, and hitting this button right here. Click it, it'll make a new layer, and you can make those items disappear right there. And you can even click on it, double click, and rename it. So. So knife layer or whatever you want to call it. You got to always make sure you put an underscore. Maya will not put an underscore in the layers panel. It'll just give you an error. So you got to make sure you put it in there. And then now you can turn it on and off. However you want to do that. All right. So now let's go back to the object itself. I'm going to make sure I select all the geo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the object and then i'm going to say assign new material in here we're going to get the new material tab we're going to go under arnold and i'm going to pick shader and what we want to do is select the ai standard surface click that and then we should find it somewhere in the um, attribute editor so control a to bring up the attribute editor and then we find the standard surface and then here we can rename it. So I'll just name it dagger material matte. And now we've got all our color channels in our scene to get plugging in our maps. Let's go over to color and let's bring in that first base color file. So I'll just hit this little box to input a node and I'm just going to go to file, 
and it will bring me the file node and then I will just go to image name and I'll go hit the folder icon and then I need to drop in my folder. So here's my base color. I'm just going to click on it and I'll hit open. And if Maya is not displaying your texture right away, it's probably not in display texture mode. So you can come up here to the top and then press this little button that says textured. Click on that and that should show up. Or you can press the six key on your keyboard to make that display. All right, that looks good so far. Let's go back to the shader. So again, I'll just uh, select the object and it should select back on that dagger material. And we're gonna go down to the next one we want is metalness. So that's our metallic map. And we'll just hit that input box. We'll just go to file and then we'll go to image name and we'll pick metallic and I'll drop in and it'll start displaying a little weird. That's just how the dis uh, viewport in Maya is gonna display it. So don't freak out uh, quite yet. Uh, the other thing we need to do while we're in this particular um, menu is we wanna make sure our color space is not set to sRGB, which is our normal standard way of how textures are displayed on the computer which is going to be this particular format right here but for anything any input maps that are not like visually displayable like the color needs to be converted into a linear space or a raw color space so we need to click on this menu and then we need to scroll up and find raw so we need to click on that the other thing we need to turn on is under color balance click on this and we want to make sure alpha is luminance that little check box is on for the metallic map the reason why we want to do this is this uh, map has three channels in it red green and blue the problem is to see the particular detail in maya it only needs to see in grayscale so basically what this is doing is converting all those color information into a grayscale map so Maya can read it better for this particular uh, map attribute in the shader. So that's what that's why we're turning that on. So let's go back. I'm just going to again select the object again. We're going to make sure we go back to the shader and we've set up the metallic. Now let's go to specular and we go to the roughness tab and we'll hit the input box, go to file. We're going to load that in. We're going to load that texture in so roughness open up that that should load and then again we're going to do that same thing that we did to the metallic color space and we're going to make sure this is set to raw and again you can see this is again a grayscale image so we want to go back to color balance and then we want to make sure alpha is set to luminance we check that on okay so let's go back select the object again go back to the shader and once that's established, so we got three maps, we need one more map to finish this up. We go down to geometry. So let's open up the geometry tab. And in here, bump mapping is what we want to go to. Go to that little input box. We pick the file. And then this will actually add another node, which is the bump node. And the bump node allows grayscale images to show the illusion of depth in the model so it's really micro uh, surface detail that it gets to show without using extra geometry to show it but it's using it for a grayscale it's default to grayscale which was always the case for many many years inside of Maya but if you go to use as click on it you want to go to tangent space normals because we made a normal map inside of painter so we want to use that the other thing we need to do is we need to go to the Arnold tab and we want to make sure that certain parameters are turned off here. Right now, what happens is it's flipping the red channel and the green channel by default. We want to check those off right now and see how it renders with those off. If we have problems, we can come back here and mess with it. But right now, let's just turn all these top three off. And we'll see how the render is and we might have to come back and revisit it to see if we can get it to make it look better but we'll see 